Hello everyone, welcome to Devtamin. In this video, we are going to learn about list in React. And if you like this video, please click like, subscribe, and comment down below. All right, let's get started. Uh, I'm going to create a variable list over here, array variable con uh, student equal. For example, Alex David and Joe. So if I want to show this variable on desktop, on web browser, what can I do? So I have to use map. In order to show list or array in React, you have to use map. All right. For example, over here, let me put break line. Okay. And let me put H1. And let me put all student. And then I'm going to use unorder list. Then we are going to loop through each student. So put curly braces and then put students dot map. Okay, and then student. Okay, we get each student. Then we put li over here. And inside here, we just put curly brace and we print out each student inside li or list. Okay, you will see list of student over here. Okay, but if you right click and inspect, you will see there is an error over here. It say that each child in a list should have a unique key prop. Okay, we have to put unique key prop over here. Let's put our key equal. And we can put like index. Okay. And over here, I have to put index. Save. So if I go back to here, and if I refresh, uh, the error disappear okay so when you print our array you have to put index on each element next what if i want to add a new student to this list by using this form what can i do let's do it together so over here i'm going to change to add a new student so in order to add a new student to this uh, list we have to use state variable Okay, we cannot use normal array variable. We have to use state level variable because when state change, the UI will change. All right, we have to use state variable con students and set students equal use state. And default variable, we are going to use this one. Okay. So we change from normal variable to state variable. Okay, remove this one, save. And if we go back to here, everything is the same. The next thing we have to do for this form, when we call this form, right, this function will execute. Okay, let's remove this one. Then we are going to call set students over here because set student is function, right? We can access to current student which is uh, these students, right? And then we are going to use spread operator to connect uh, the current student to new students. Three dot and then this current student. We connect with name, which is a new student. When we add new student to this list, students, we have to clear the input text box over here. We are going to clear it by using set name equal to empty. Save. And then if I go back here and I add new name, for example, Mike and submit, I'm going to see Mike over here. And then when I add John, it will show the same result. Okay. All right. This is all about this video. Feel free to click like, subscribe and comment down below. Thank you so much for watching.